Hey everyone, and welcome to another devlog video for the Procedural City Generator. Today, I'm super excited to show you guys one of the new features coming to the 1.1.1 small update for PCG. And that is, let me go ahead and click on the Buildings tab, Road Management. That is exactly what it sounds like. On the current version of PCG, once you generate your city, like I have it right here, the buildings are going to spawn on all of the rows. Uh, road management allows you to have a lot more control as to where your buildings spawn or are removed. That gives you a better chance of regenerating maybe parts of the city that you're not happy with or just focusing on one part of the city first and then going on the other. So there's a lot of use cases here. So if I click on road management, you can see that we have several buttons. The ones on the left are the road by category. So if I wanted to say spawn on all of the main roads, I just literally click main roads and you can see that we have a notification here saying, Hey, we detected eight, 18 main roads. If I can go back to general settings, reset my batch and I spawn road buildings. You can see that now the buildings will be spawned on the main roads only you can go ahead and remove them. If I go back to road management, I can do the same thing. Let's say minor roads. Why not reset the batch spawn road buildings and you'll see that now the buildings will spawn only on the main, uh, the minor roads rather. I'll go ahead and remove. I can also do a more interesting things. So you can see on the right hand side. So say that I wanted to only spawn on selected roads. So I can go ahead and grab, let's just grab these two roads. For example, here I can click on selected roads and then I go back to general settings, reset, spawn road buildings, and the buildings will only spawn on my selected roads. This actually goes, uh, to removing the buildings as well. All of the selections here apply to spawning and removing. So let's say that I wanted to remove buildings only on this one road here. So what I could do is I could just select this one road, select the roads, but now instead of spawning, I'm just going to remove. And you can see that now we've removed roads, uh, sorry, buildings from that road. And then I can go ahead and spawn them again if I wanted to. I also included a little button here with a letter A. That's for all of the buildings. So you still have, if you want to remove all of the buildings, regardless of selection, you can do that. We can also use tags, which is something that was requested on Discord. And we had a small discussion there. I think it's a great idea. So now you can add custom tags to any roads. And you can use that as the selection process. So since I have this selected, let's just add a tag here. Let's just let's say tag one. Oops. And just to make it different, let's grab this guy here and add tag one also. And now, so these two roads have tag ones. If I come back and say, Hey, I want all of the roads with tag one. Notice that it detects two roads. And if I go back and reset the batch, exactly what you would expect the roads with that tag. I'm going to go ahead and remove them. You can also do the opposite. You can do roads without tag. You can, you can do an exclusion of the roads without tag. So let's say, well, we, we already have this with tag, this two with tag one. So let's just do the same thing. This is kind of the inverse. So instead of uh, selecting, if you select roads with tag, it's only two roads, roads without tag, that is 79 roads. In other words, everything except these two. So if I go ahead and reset the batch and I spawn my buildings, well, basically the opposite will happen. Buildings will spawn on every road except the roads with the tag. And those roads are simply going to be excluded from the spawners list. It's actually very, very simple in that sense. Um, all of the magic is kind of happening here on the widget. We're simply passing a filtered list of roads to the spawner and the spawner is just doing its thing. Um, so what, this is what makes it so powerful because, uh, it's fairly simple and modular to add. 
I could eventually add more things here, more trickery, more ways of filtering. Uh, and the spawner doesn't really care because at the end of the day, the spawner just gets a list of rows. So you can see here, we've excluded these two rows. Go ahead and remove everything. Um, but I took it even farther than that. Uh, I said, hey, one tag is cool, but what about two tags? Can I do multiple tags to make it even more complicated? And yes, you can. I did that. So this road and this road have tag one. I'm going to grab this road and, and add a new tag and say this is going to be tag two. And let's see this road and this road are going to be tag three. So then I can come here and say, hey, I actually want tag one plus tag two. And notice that now it has three roads. And the operator is the plus sign. That's the one I'm using. So you need to use that so the function can break um, break the different tags properly. Uh, let's go ahead and remove that and say, you know what? I actually want to spawn tag one, tag two, and tag three. And now you see that we have five. One, two, three, four, five. Reset the batch, spawn. And you can see that we can keep going like this. So tags are extremely, extremely useful and give you guys a lot of flexibility, as you can see here. You can do the same thing for exclusion tags, by the way. I can do plus, 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 and it'll be exactly the same. So now you can generate your city, um, add as many tags as you want, custom tags, divide them by neighborhood, whatever, and then you can always go back here and use this mode to basically configure how things are going to be spawned. And the last thing is going to be something really, really neat. And this is some brand new blueprint that I've added. It's called a building spawn volume. So if I go to this 111 folder here, these are all the new blueprints uh, that I've created. I have a new blueprint called building spawn volume. I'm just going to drop this guy here. And I'm going to make him very small. Let's just make them small. I don't know, like this. Um, oops. And this is exactly what it sounds like. It is a volume that tells the city to only spawn buildings within that volume. So now you have even more control. Instead of selecting the roads manually, you can simply select the volume and click use selected building volumes. You can see that, that it detected these two rows that are within the volume. Then you can go to general settings, reset the batch and spawn road buildings. Now the cool thing here is that not only is it selecting the roads, but the buildings will only spawn within the volume as you can see here. Uh, it's not 100% perfect because I'm using traces, but it is pretty damn close. Um, so you want a specific area to spawn buildings as opposed to just specific roads, then you can use the volumes. And because I always like taking things a little bit farther as, as far as I can, um, you can, you can actually have multiple volumes. So I can decide to have this volume here. I'm going to duplicate it and put it here because why not? And then I want to duplicate this guy and put him right here. So we have three different volumes and now we can select, oops, all three volumes, go back to road management, use selected volumes. Now we have the three volumes, go back to general settings, reset the batch and spawn road buildings and buildings only within those volumes will be spawned. So yeah, uh, that is pretty much it guys. Um, I think this is honestly a game changer when it comes to generating your city, especially with mega cities coming with UE5. You guys will have a lot more control once this update comes out. This is a small update, so I expect this to come out literally in a couple of weeks. Um, I'm actually mostly done with the stuff I want to add. So you'll have this pretty quickly. And after this update, 
you will have a huge amount of control as far as generating your buildings. That's pretty much it, guys. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, post your comments or I'm going to leave a link to my Discord. If you haven't joined the Discord, come join us. Uh, I'm way more active there. Uh, I usually post pictures and questions about what I'm working on and I take a lot of suggestions about what should be added to PCG and pretty much any of my assets. This was actually uh, an idea that I got after talking to a user on Discord, by the way. Uh, the user was asking how he could have more control over building spawning. And next thing you know, a few days later, here I am with road management. So anyway, thank you guys so much. Let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video.